Alright guys, this is my second attempt at recording this because in my first one uh, I tried to do a more in-depth description and I wound up sounding like a completely hate the show. So, I think I'm just going to do kind of an overview like the rest of my reviews are. Okay, Sword Art Online, second arc, all time online. Uh, I have done a review on Sword Art Online already, the first arc, or uh, Einkrad arc. And, um, this is the second one. Okay. Well, general story, just very basic. Um, Asuna is trapped in a place, uh, there's a, a giant tree in Norse mythology, uh, Norse mythology, that is called Yggdrasil, and, uh, Asuna is now trapped in a cage in the branches of Yggdrasil. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, I guess look it up or just watch the show. Um, okay, so Kirito is trying to save her. She is still trapped in the game and cannot get out. Kirito is now free to go into the real world. And, uh, he now actually does go into the real world. There are parts of the show where he is in the real world. And, um, I don't know, I thought a lot of that was kind of unnecessary. Um, but it, it doesn't really take away from the show. Some of the things are pretty interesting, but, like, even when they are in the real world, all they do is talk about Sword Art Online or All Time Online, and so they're, they're constantly immersed in these games, regardless of if they're actually playing them or if they're in the real, real world, which kind of defeated the purpose in even going into the real world, in my opinion. Um, so there's that. Also... Uh, this whole arc is supposed to take place in six days, which is pretty ridiculous because it's even more rushed than the first one, but it's only ten episodes, and then there's, like, the final episode afterward, but it being ten episodes, I think, hindered it in a lot of ways, but it's still a really good show. It feels less like a video game than the first one because it seemed, it felt like they put more emphasis on the fact that it was a game in the first one. And this one kind of bends the rules more in certain parts and uh, it they, they treat it more like a real world situation in a lot of ways. Which I can't necessarily say I enjoy, but at the same time it keeps the feeling of a game, but it, they kind of got rid of that uh, idea like, they kept the idea of, like, uh, you can die now, there's now magic and that sort of thing, but they, the characters don't act as much like it's a game as they did before, because even though they were fighting for their lives, they still knew that it was a game, and now, even though they can die, they still act extremely, extremely serious about it, which kind of reminds me of people who actually play MMOs, but, uh, I, so there, there were certain aspects I didn't get. Also, apparently skills and level mean absolutely nothing in the second arc, because uh, uh, at the very beginning, Kirito fights three high-tier enemies by himself and kills all three of them, like, really, really quickly, in, in I believe, the first episode of the arc. And that doesn't make any sense, because apparently these guys are really powerful. He just started the game, he's walking around and just destroys these guys. So, things like that, he's extremely overpowered, which he was in the first arc too, but now he's really overpowered, especially since he can actually die, but, you know, he's the main character. Um, so, aside from those problems, the fighting is great. I think it's improved from Sword Art Online because Sword Art Online, they were generally fighting a boss and it was just one person that they were fighting and now they are fighting a lot of other players and so the combat is much larger scale. Even though Kirito generally fights by himself or with one companion, he still fights a lot more enemies at one time, which is really entertaining to me because I'd rather see someone cut up 50 guys than uh, 50 guys cut up one guy, I guess. So, in that respect, it's also entertaining. And uh, this show, in general, I think is really good 
for anyone who likes gaming for uh, MMOs or anything of that sort. It's just really entertaining because you can kind of identify with that, the, uh, the aspect of them being gamers and being completely immersed in the game because uh, most of us gamers, that's we would all love to do that, to be in a, uh, a virtual reality world like that, because that, that has been like one thing I've always wanted to see a game like that since I was young and actually started playing games. So uh, to me, the series is, is kind of a, a fantasy of mine, I guess, and a lot of other gamers put it into a uh, series that you can watch or read or whatever. And, uh, so I found that pretty entertaining. Um, the show itself, it, it's really not too far different from Sword Art Online, other than, uh, one thing, Kirito changed his playing style entirely from Arc 1 to 2. He's still kind of a solo player, but now instead of, uh, one or two normal-sized, like, light swords, I guess, or average-sized swords... He wields one enormous sword that's about as big as he is, and I, I don't know, certain things like that I didn't completely understand. Also, uh, they talk about magic and stuff. Kirito doesn't even use his magic pretty much any, I don't think, so that's, that's completely out of his realm of expertise, so I guess he just decides not to use it, but that kind of makes sense because he doesn't bother to level up at all, so... I, I guess they at least did that, and he's still god tier warrior for no apparent reason. Uh, I'm I'm still destroying this show, tearing it to pieces, but it is a really good show, and I don't exactly know how to say that. I guess I don't know what to point out to make it sound as good as it really is. So before I kill it any further, I think I'm gonna end this. I would definitely recommend it. I would give it probably a 9 out of 10. I, I might have said 9.5 in the first arc, but uh, in the second one, there were just too many holes in it for me to say to give it a 9.5. So I'd say maybe a 8.5 or 9. And uh, I, I would like to hear what you guys think of it. So comment, remember to subscribe, like the video, uh, send me a message or comment if you'd like to see me uh, review anything else. I, I really can't speak today. I'm stuttering. Um, as some of you know, I'm having a, a giveaway. When I reach 50 subscribers, I am now at 19. And I should probably have a video soon about what the prizes are going to be. And uh, I think that's all for this time. So it's the Anime Observer. See you next time.